Good evening. This is Pat's Easy Change. We're getting ready to install the set of our hitches. This is the Category 1. We're going to be putting this on a Category 1 tractor. And uh, in the bag you have the, the bolts and the nuts. Uh, there's set screws with a jam nut. We start them in. And the first thing we want to do is to uh, slide the, the hitch over the arm, put our pin through the ball. Over on the side here, uh, some tractors have a lift arm that's not as tall. Here, you may have to install a shim in the bottom so it runs kind of parallel with the lift arm. You know, and we don't want the hitch all cocked up in the air or drooping down. And the way to install that shim in the hitch, once you figure out which size you need, if you need a shim, we take uh, one of the shims and you use a hammer and drive this in to the hole on the shim. Then you uh, insert it with the row pin down, drop it through the hole, and this keeps it from sliding out. Then when you put it in the, on the lift arm, it's got it capsulated. It can't get out. Okay, now this particular tractor doesn't require a shim because the height of the lift arm, they, they will vary. And we have shims to accommodate. You may use one or two in various combinations, we have a quarter and a three-eighths. So now we slide the hitch back over and stall in. Now the pin that has the, the big hole on the end, we want to have it pointed inward. So that's what we stick, hook our stay bar to. And we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, we put the hitch in. We put our... Uh, Carter pin in. Then spread your Carter key. You'd be surprised how easy it is to get to do that. Okay, now we got the hitch in. Uh, Carter pin. We uh, what we're going to do, we're going to spread these lift arms 24 inches apart. We'll use a broom handle or something of that nature. And uh, so this way, these uh, set screws is to square your, the two hitches up together. So we'll get it close to it. Run your uh, set screws in until you feel them touch the lift arm and stop and you run them in Until you feel them touch the lift arm and you just snug each one of them just a little bit till you get them uh, snugged up okay now we have a u-bolt here and this keeps the hitch from rolling up and down on your lift arm. Uh, the load and stuff keeps it pulled down. This here just keeps it from floating up. So then we'll put a flat washer and a, and a uh, jam nut on each side of the U-boat. Okay. 
can get that stay bar, take that pin out. So they're fairly easy to go on. Uh, we have the instructions that hopefully it's clear enough to understand. We just snug the U-bolt up fairly snug. We don't have to just overly tighten them. Some tractors uh, just way the left arms are made after they're on they'll move and flop around especially in some of the older tractors when you pick up they don't want to lean in or lean out you know uh, we left room in the hook for side sway and the pins that don't let get behind we can take that uh, out Bar in. You got a clip that goes at each end. Then you need to measure your implement, and you can set this uh, whatever width you need. You tighten your lift arm down, and you're good to go. Now to go to hook up. You want to remove your latch stop so you're ready to back up to your implement. When you back up under the pin and raise it, it will automatically lock. You can also lock the latch open. So if you're putting something on and off the hand like seed sore or bell spear, something you just can't back up to and install. And, uh, Go.